In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create interactive tools that you can embed on your website to help you reduce bounce rate and also get more visitors going to your site. I'm going to be giving you one single AI prompt that can do this for you, and I'm going to show you how to use it, how you can embed it onto your website, and how to find these ideas. All right, so as you guys know, you guys can go ahead and get the free prompt in the description below using the follow along slides. And then you can also join my newsletter where I'm going to be sending you weekly advice on how to use more AI prompts for content generation, for growing your YouTube channel, your social media platforms, and also SEO. So let's jump into some examples. And I have a few. One of them from one of my favorite creators is Swim University. And they have a pool volume calculator. So what this does is, is click on the pool shape to calculate the volume of water. So this is really cool because you can either choose rectangle or round, and then you could put in the length, the shallow end, width, and depth, and it's going to generate some kind of calculation for you. So based on this example, I put in 12, 6, 1, and 2, and then it's going to say that we need about 360 gallons of water. So that's really, really cool. And we can easily create this with our AI prompt. Here's one on my site, and I'll go ahead and link that in the description below if you want to try it out. This is a free AI prompt generator, and this will create powerful system prompts that are given a role, task, and context. So I use AI to help me build this completely for free using the single prompt. And what you can do is you can enter the platform or just the idea that you have, and then you can go ahead and put in the specific AI prompt or what you want to do and have it describe it for you. So what I'm going to say is give me a blog post outline for informational content. This is going to be a blog post outline for how to articles. We can go ahead and generate the advanced AI prompt and then we can go to copy to copy to clipboard. Then from here, I can go to chat GPT, paste in that prompt, and then I can go ahead and give it the topic. So from here, the topic is how to make coffee at home. It's given us introduction, the sections that we need, different types of beans, and it's given us all of those heading sections. So this is a really, really cool prompt. And again, I created this just using AI, using a single prompt. Last one, we have a free calorie calculator and meal plan. So you could even do this again with this prompt, but I just want to give you different use cases and how powerful this can be for your website. And you can see that you could easily create this with the help of AI. Okay, so we need to go ahead and find these high value tools and we can use this with Ahrefs. You can use any SEO tool that you want. I know Ahrefs is a little bit more on the expensive side. So you can use Key Search, Uber Suggest, or any other more budget friendly option. So with Ahrefs, I'm going to dive in and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the Keyword Explorer. And then we're going to go ahead and enter a tool or like a calculator, and we can use that to help us find what we need to create. So this isn't sponsored or anything. This is just a tool that I've been using for over four years now. They do have a new plan that is actually $29 a month instead of their crazy high pricing module. So let's go to move forward. So we're going to go into the keyword explorer. And again, we can enter any keyword phrase in here and it's going to give us a ton of different results. So I can go ahead and put in calculator. And then what I want to see it here on the left hand corner is the keyword ideas. And we're going to go ahead and look at matching terms because this is going to give us multiple different phrases that include calculator in it. So you can see here, these are very high keyword difficulty words, but we have a GPA calculator, compound interest calculator, loan calculator, auto loan calculator. So depending on your niche, you could have a fitness calculator, you could have a character count calculator. You could also do steps, like how many steps a person takes throughout the day, grading calculator. And there's just so many different tools and ideas that you could do with this. If you're using Ahrefs, then you can even filter for more easier keywords. And this is what you are going to want to do. You're going to want to change the keyword difficulty from zero to 20. The lowest DR is essentially any website that has a low domain rating. I'm going to go ahead and go from 15 and I'm going to click on show results. So this is going to help me find ideas that are really easy to rank for. So we have Chipotle nutrition calculator, snow day calculator, Pokemon type calculator, depending on the niche, this might work really well for you, uh, but you could find some really interesting ones. All right. And here is the AI prompt. I'm telling you guys, this is amazing. It works really well and it's kind of long, but that's the whole purpose of this. So it's going to act as a expert web developer in creating responsive HTML tools for any kind of niche. Then it's going to have a purpose. It's going to have a structure. It's going to contain its core components, even the styling. So I like a modern look, but you can always change it afterwards. It's going to give functionality, some best practices, and also the output. So sometimes we could use, you know, we're going to go for HTML file, but it can include some CSS as well. For this example, we're going to go and create a character count tool, and I'm going to use an, a reference and make it better. So for this example, we're looking at wordcounter.net. 
They have a kind of simple one, very easy to use, but we're gonna make it way better with this AI prompt. So let's go ahead and enter this prompt. And from here, you can be really specific. You can add context. And if there's colors that you wanna change, if there's something that you wanna make look better, you can add all the details in here. But I will tell you that you can continue to improve upon the prompt over time. And if there's something that you don't like, you can reply back to the AI model and say, hey, I don't like this. Can you change the color or can you change the output? And you can continue talking to it and having a conversation to improve your overall interactive tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of this page here so it can understand what I'm trying to do. And I'm gonna say this, I need to create a character count tool that is similar to the screenshot I am including, but I want it to be way better and improved. This is as simple as possible. You can add more context, but I want to show you how powerful this prompt is. So I went ahead and added that screenshot and let's see what it does. So this is really cool because it's saying that it also is going to create a more improved design without infringement on copyrights. So let's see what it creates. All right, sweet. So went ahead and gave us a tool that we can use. This is an enhanced character counter. It gives us the characters, words, paragraphs, and sentences, even the speaking time and reading time. So let's go ahead and just add some gibberish in here. Okay, so it's actually working. So it's giving us the characters, the sentences, the words, and even paragraphs. It's giving us the reading time, speaking time, and the most word used. Now this is insane because we can just go ahead and grab the code and then just add it or embed it into our website or really anywhere where you can embed HTML block or React. And this is so powerful because we did this in a few seconds. All right, next up, what we can do is we can start embedding this onto our website. And I'm gonna be using WordPress for this example, but you can use any CMS platform or sales funnel platform that you are already using. As long as you can embed HTML or any code, you should easily be able to do this. So for the example, I'm gonna to go to a page here. I'm gonna to go to add new page. And then we're just going to call this character counter and let's go ahead and add in or embed that block. So I'm going to click on slash custom HTML, copy and paste, and then we can preview. And there we go. So now what I can do is, is save draft. And then we're going to go ahead and preview this to see how it looks. All right. So this is what it gave me. We could see that we have a little bit of issues, so we can try to fix it and see how we can improve the HTML, maybe make it responsive because it should not look like this. But I'm glad this is happening in real time so I can fix it and you can see what I'm going to do. But just in general, this looks really cool. And let's go to make sure we can actually use it. Okay, so to make this easier for the AI model, I'm going to go and just take a screenshot and also let it know of the issue. And that should help with the output. All right, so what I'm saying is when I embed the HTML block, it doesn't load properly onto my website. Here's a screenshot for reference. Can you fix this? All right, that's awesome. So it says that it looks like the HTML did not integrate well with your existing structure. And it's going to create one that's compatible with WordPress. All right, so let's see if it actually worked. We're going to go ahead and add that HTML, save, preview. Okay, that looks good. And let's go ahead and save draft. And there we go. It looks like it's working now. So you see, you don't want to get stuck or feel overwhelmed. You can talk to the AI tool give it examples or screenshots and it will fix this for you and now we have a whole entire tool we can use and that's interactive on our site so let's go ahead and see if it actually works i'm going to just copy and paste the ai prompt that we used and boom so we have characters we got words the sentences and how many paragraphs reading time is two minutes speaking time three minutes most used word was a we could see if we could fix that but overall this is amazing and it's working perfectly. So now we can use this as a lead magnet or we can use this as a link bait for our website and get people to go on here and it's gonna look amazing. Okay, so we completed step three, which was implementing and publishing our tool. So we got the entire code from the AI, which is HTML, and then we added that to our page. You saw that something broke and then we were able to fix it by just telling what was broken. And then from there, we can polish it and improve it on our page. Now, the next most important step, and this is the whole reason why to do this, is that we want to optimize for engagement and conversions. And what I mean by that is that you always want to add some kind of call to action, send people to your email list, or maybe sell another service within that page that is relevant to your tool. And what I recommend as of right now is just creating an 
email offer or a lead magnet to get people to you know collect their emails and you can sell them on the back end you could also consider having a paid product or something else there but really the whole purpose is just to collect leads and get as much traffic to that page and interactive tool so you can collect as much emails as possible so what i would do here is i already have some custom blocks that i've created on my own but i can go ahead and go to thrive architect block and then i can find my cta that i have boom there we go I can go ahead and save draft one more time. I'm going to preview draft. And when people use this tool, they can also opt into my email list. Of course, this is, this is not relevant to this specific calculator, but if I was using you know, the AI prompt generator or another tool that is related to AI content, then I can have this call to action and collect more emails. So you can see how powerful this is. I highly recommend that you do that for your own site. Depending on your niche, you could use it for whatever purpose. So go out there and create your own interactive tool to embed in your site. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop that in the comment section below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and watch this next one here that YouTube is recommending. Thank you so much for being here. See you on the next one.